Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Rashad Brooks. That's the black man that was killed in Atlanta most recently. Rashad Brooks by the killers, the cops. And yesterday, it's just pathetic. All of the rioting, nothing that we have done, nothing that anyone has done for 400 years has eliminated this race superiority in the United States of America and this power struggle all over the earth. And it seems like it's not going to stop. But the truth of the matter is, it is going to stop. Earlier today, I couldn't sleep, so I got up and I was trying to figure out something that would offer a solution. And it seems as if uh, this hate and all of the stuff that's going on is just not going to stop on its own. And the efforts that are being made are doing nothing but acting and serving as pacifiers. And so I was thinking about the, the outcome of the dinosaurs that had a distinction that we could probably apply to the crisis that we as human beings are going through. Maybe it's time for us to end. But I keep in mind that most people kind of think that life is impressive and not want it to end. They probably want it to get better and not end. But we cannot expect it to get better with the same practices that we've been executing for 400 years. So we gotta think about something different. I have heard it said that uh, the black man is the original man. I've heard that said, I've read it in black publications, black speeches, I heard it said in museums and other countries where other people held up as black people as being the original people. And so you think that that might be true. Maybe it is true. And if we are the original people, with people, human beings being like they are, then it's understandable that those who have a lack of melanin in their skin might be jealous. And being jealous, they're going to try to exercise their opposition through the this, this here proclamation of their uh, supremacy. Well, it is untrue. It is not. And I, as a black man, have constantly tried to resist the fact that if we are the original people, then we are more important than any other people. But the truth of the matter is that the first to come is the one that pick up the understanding and they are supposed to teach those who are coming along later on. And so if we are the original people, we did it. We failed our job when it came along to the people who turned with a uh, lack of melon because they are absolutely gone crazy. But here, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to do me any good to call them going crazy. And it's not going to do me any good to remind you that when they start dropping the bombs, you start throwing the matches. And the country that you burn up isn't yours. It's, you built it, but it doesn't yours. It belongs to the thieves. And so when they drop the bombs, they're just tearing up what they stole. So that's all right. And even if they kill us, that's all right, too, because we know they're not going to build nothing <laughs> but highways. They're going to build the highways because a lot of money in it. But here's what I'm going to suggest to you this morning, ladies and gentlemen. I saw T.I. down in Atlanta, and he said that he cares, and that's why he's in Atlanta. Well, I haven't been going to the rallies, not because I don't care, but I know that the rallies are not equipped to do uh, what has to be done to deal with the problem. It's okay to just come together and say we, 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 we all are in this together, but the action that is to be taken is not from a rally. It's going to be taken by people who got some mindset ideas. And there are a lot of people in this country that say they got a lot of mindset ideas. So this is what I propose at this uh, presentation. All of your politicians who are against this violence, we don't want your talking no more. We want you in the streets. We want you in the streets saying that you're fed up with this and you want it to stop. And if cops gonna beat somebody's head, let them beat your head. You the politicians. You the ones that were chosen to go and represent the people and protect the people from any vice, from any virus that would come and cause any type of destruction. You the politicians, you're the ones that's being paid to do this kind of stuff. And we find out in most instances, you are uh, a participant. The mayor out here advocating violence, advocating going back to work, advocating poverty, advocating hated racism. You, the politicians, are doing this. So I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, 
it is time that those people that are being paid to protect this society from a crazy society hit the streets. I think that the mayor should be on the street protesting. I think that the police chief should be on the street protesting. I, I think that the city councilman, the state legislators, and the governor should be on the street protesting. And the people protesting justice, protesting, protect, uh, protesting un, uh, unfair treatment. I think that it's these politicians who getting a check every doggone two weeks, who got a, a, a health plans to protect them the rest of their lives, who got some kind of situation set up that they don't have to struggle. While we have paid them and set them up like this, and then we're being treated like this as a, uh, as a slave. So I'm calling on all politicians. I'm calling on the mayor in Atlanta. I'm calling on the city council in Atlanta. I'm calling on the police chief or the one that's taking the police chief place and the police chief who resigned. I'm calling on the citizens. I'm calling on the, 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 the presidents of the universities and the, and the colleges and schools down there. I'm asking you to hit these damn streets and show support, show some support. You sitting back like you don't have anything to worry about, only black people. No, we want the, the white mayors and the black mayors. We want the white police and the white police chief and the black police chief. We want everybody that's got a position of importance. We want everybody that got a good job in those damn streets protesting and protecting the people who, who don't. Standing up for the people that's suffering. These people are suffering because of what you've done to them. And you saying you don't care. You sit back and sit up and, and hold up your chest like you gonna talk. And you've been talking for 400 years, ladies and gentlemen, of America. If your city, if your city experiences another brother being killed by a cop, being killed by a murderer, a white racist murderer, a supremacist murderer. I want everybody who got a good job in the streets. Now they're beating people who are being oppressed, beating them side the head because they don't like it. They're coming in there getting hit with billy clubs like they're trying to break their legs. They don't cameras there they might not be able to put their knee on their neck but they got their tasers don't even want to take them off now ladies and gentlemen that happened to people who are being oppressed now those of you who are not being oppressed i want you to hit the streets and stand up for those that's being oppressed i don't want the oppressed standing up by themselves i want you the ones that are being paid who are getting letting this stuff get by you come in the streets i guarantee if you come in the streets let's see if the cops gonna beat you side of the head or if some changes are going to be made all you politicians, if you don't agree with this, what about this uh, uh, House of Representatives in Washington, D.C.? You, you think that's wrong? We don't want you not just making legislation. Fuck legislation. Get your ass in them damn streets and start standing up for, for what's right. Start standing up for people. Then we know you care. Otherwise, you just a suckerhead son of a bitch. Excuse me for saying that, ladies and gentlemen. But right now, I just think somebody need to tell you to tell you. A black man, I'm sitting here, I've been living, I'm an elder. I've been living a long time. This car passing down the street. I've been living long on that man driving into a car. He won't come in that way. I've been living long on that man. I've seen all of this crap go over and over and over. It ain't nothing changing, but things getting worse. So I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, anybody that wants this and stuff to get better, get your butt out there and show it. Don't stop sitting back at home trying to paint your house, trying to fix up your big porch to put some put some tires on your car, car as if that's important. The most important thing right now is human beings being treated as human beings, being treated as creations of God that demands that they're not going to take for accepting any longer. And the mayor, the governor, the president, all of the people in this doggone country, poor people, well, God might just leave you out because I'm telling you, it's hard to be poor. People who are, who are suffering from pain, God might just leave you out because it's hard going through all that kind of pain. But everybody that's not in pain, everybody that's not suffering, everybody that's got a job, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a judge, whether you're a prosecutor, whether you're a president, I don't give a stink who you are. This nation is being screwed over. And you are okay with it. Okay with it. Okay with it. Why? Because you're not out there. You're the grandstanding. But we passing this legislation. We're talking, fuck the legislation. Get your ass in them streets and stand up and say we're tired of this shit and it's gonna start right now. That's the legislation we need. Mean it. Mean it that everybody in this country gonna have a goddamn job. And a good job. A job that allows them to do the things that bring them joy in their life. A job that would allow them to have health care. 
and education, unlimited and unrestricted from the womb to the tomb, that they might have food, clothing, and shelter as long as there's food, clothing, and shelter in, in, in existence. Now you stand up for that. That's what God wants you to stand up for. If you can't stand up for that, you are standing up for hell. And everybody that's suffering, it is you. Get you got your neck, your knee on their neck. It is the president that got his knee on that man's neck, on people's neck. It is the governors that got their knees on the suffering of the people of this country. It is the, the mayors. It is the Congress. It is the legislators. It is your aldermen. It is the people in power that got their knees on the neck of the people that's suffering in this country. It's not the police is just a symptom of it, but it's the people in power. They are the ones that keep this country the way it is. And how many of them that you see marching? You ain't seen a single one of them marching. You might see the police out there grandstanding talking about they like you. They got to go through this shit just like we do. So I'm saying to you, the reason that this stuff continues to exist is because it's designed that way and every leadership position is designed to keep it that way. And if you want to stop the people that you're paying, bring their asses out there in this damn street and let the cops come beat them side of the head. I bet you that won't happen. It'll stop overnight. Now, do I get any challenges? Thank you for listening.